What's going on everybody? Today we put the last good running five horsepower Briggs in existence on the Rat Rod Wagon. And a gas pedal and a brake pedal. Very nice, by the way. Love it. Very nice. Love the bill. I love the bill. Oh, me too. We're out here at Ike's shop looking for some engines. Yeah, buddy. Got a little 79cc engine there. Yeah, buddy. Not gonna need there. that one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, gonna need that one. That ain't gonna make the rat rod wagon move. Nope. We just picked up an engine at Ike's garage and now we're headed to Ike's work to pick up another Briggs 5 horse. And then we're gonna head out to Ike's country estate to grab another. Briggs five horse or two. Between all three or four of them, hopefully we can put together one Frankenstein good one that doesn't smoke. Where is Briggs flathead number two? There she blows. Engine number two. With like the exact same header on it. <laughs> yeah. Except I think this one's all aluminum. Yeah, it looks uh, looks to be that way. It's also got a sweet little uh, clutch guard. Yep. That came off your build-off go-kart, didn't it? Yes, sir. You know what we need to do, Ike? Build-off go-karts. Yeah, we do. Here at Ike's Country Estate, looking for engine number three and maybe four. Is that a toilet? Yeah. Nice. Would you look at this build-off cart? Yeah, buddy. Wow, those are some tiny little front wheels or tires you got there. They are. Be fine. Oh, that's the one on the tiller. Yeah. That one looks nice. Oh, here's the Biscayne. Yeah. Didn't even recognize it under all that stuff. Yeah. There's so much space up there you could be utilizing. I know. That could be your parts bin, Ike. It's off. There's engine number three. Oh, man, she got good compression. Um, yeah, she's a high performance. You know, because you know you have to have high performance on a tiller. On a tiller. Tillers don't probably, mess around. Probably got a monster cam in her for <laughs> torque. You know, this, this will be a good contender for the uh, 670. There is a replacement for displacement. It's called <laughs> tiller. <laughs> I'm done lying. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Yeah, buddy. We're about to get wet. Yeah, dude, it's looking like rain, buddy. Yeah. See your shirt, man. What? Oh, this. Is someone is is this someone playing thing? funny camera tricks on us? Oh no no no, man. It's just a a black cars and cameras T-shirt. There's thunder in the distance. The gods are ready for the rat rod wagon. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. One. I'm gonna say most people are gonna say that one. <laughs> I'm even gonna say that one. <laughs> I, I'm. I'm pretty sure that this one wasn't smoking. I took the head off because I was going to have it shaved for more compression. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't think this one's a smoker, but the carburetor is junk. See the throttle? Yeah. Yeah. This one, I think, had problems idling. And this one right here came off the uh, build-off cart, so I have no idea what kind of condition it's in. In fact, it was stuck whenever I got it. I kind of just kind of worked it, it free. worked it and uh and and freed it up. So that one's got to be the winner. It's got an E3 spark plug in it. Don't they say those increase horsepower? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Dude, it's got a high performance spark plug. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, you know that was off a high performance tiller right there. It looks kind of good in that gas tank. Yeah, it looked kind of clean. Yeah. Let's see if she fires. Man. What? I don't need it to be wide open like that. Does it not have a throttle return? <coughs> it does, but it's really it's down here. Oh yeah, I yeah. forgot. And it, <coughs> man, it's some good gas. <laughs> it's good gas, man. Oh wait, we should probably check the oil. Oh, oh, wow. 
Dude, that doesn't look that bad. It's clean. It's got a rag. Uh. Ooh. Yeah. That's a lot, dude. I went ahead and loaded her up. I mean, it's got an E3 spark plug. <laughs> Proven performance. Yeah. Um, this video is not sponsored by E3. I mean, that's I just that that's what their commercials say. And it's like, come on, dude, how much could a spark plug actually help? I mean, the, I don't hear it knocking. Like no, it sounds one. pretty good. Uh, it's not smoking. Yeah. Like that one does. And it looks cool. Yeah, and it looks cool. Um. I bet you that diaphragm and that carburetor is bad. We are removing this engine because it leaks really badly and the pull cord broke on it. The and biggest it thing is smokes. The, the crankshaft uh, in the case is, the case is uh, wallered out where the crankshaft goes through. I, there's, there's a quarter of an inch of slop in the flywheel <laughs> under that cover. Yeah, it's a so, piece. It's a, it, there's no fixing it. Not unless you drill it and put a collar in and why. Yeah, I mean, it's a five horse brig. I still, I, I still won't throw it away, but. Of course not, because no, you're Ike. Because I'm a hoarder. Because there's something that's usable on that engine. We could make you know? a four cylinder flathead if we wanted to, Ike. Yeah, 20 and then, horse. And then we can put it up against the 670. The 670. See what happens. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, let's get to removing this old engine. All right, and, and we'll just swap that carburetor over to this and go from there. And go from there. It's always nice when we're, whenever we're swapping engines on this, which is actually pretty frequently, <laughs> because, uh, you know, we tapped yeah. the plate, so it's like there's no nut on the bottom to yeah. worry about. It's awesome. We ought to do that with every build. Yeah, I know, for as often as we're removing engines. I think we keep this carburetor on it and just kind of drive it around a little bit in the yard and maybe just running it will we'll we'll it up. up a little yeah. bit. Um, usually what happens is there's a diaphragm here in the carburetor that'll go bad and that's most likely what's wrong with it. Will that take us like seven minutes to remove the engine? Oh, I don't know. Not long. And then I'll just let this slide right off. Sounds good. And... You got him? Yep. Boom. Engine Boom. is off. Be alright. Right. Well, it should slide back more. Yeah, it should go back a little bit more. I don't think I can fit this on. Oh, you're going to have to remove that out. Yeah. Little guard. Yeah. So John is polishing the shaft. Should have known better. <laughs> um, I got to say that uh, he really wanted to do it himself. If you want it done right, do it yourself. So, got the clutch on. Now I'm about to put the engine on the uh, the chassis. 
Perfect yeah, gotta, fit. Yeah, you gotta slide that uh, clutch, clutch on before part. I get it in place. Yeah. Chain's not very tight, is it? It's so short, it kind of doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It would look better if it was uh, more worn. Oh, the engine and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, well, it looks better than the one that was on there. All I want is the Rat Rod Wagon to be a reliable go-kart. Me too. This might be the 300ZX of go-karts, like. <laughs> no. It's not a pain in the butt to work on. This might be the BMW M3 of go-karts. No, because it's not pricey to work on. This might be the Fiera of go-karts. Man, I like that engine so much better than the other one. You like the way it looks? Yeah, so much better than the other one. We got the engine all bolted up and the chain all hooked up. Ike is just going to tighten the chain the rear chain anyway and I'm going to bolt the header on man you know, what this oh you turned it that way because of uh, the spring right yeah header is installed so we're all ready to fire it up smoke seems to be a pretty nice engine seems like it so far knock on wood dude i can't get over how freaking cool that shirt is man oh thanks i love the black and yeah. it looks completely clean and that, we've been working in it all day yeah so the carburetor is a little meh still meh but I, we the more we ride it maybe the better it'll be maybe she's been sitting for a long time supposed to be turned this way well it'll be fine but i i'm fine with that because the spring that i put there the just throttle kinda, return spring yeah it's kind of in the way yeah but that that's just temporary yeah i mean that was just to see how the thing rode around. i'm happy need to put a pod on it i'm not worried about the steering wheel right now it'd be nice to have a hand or a foot brake and a foot uh throttle that way we can just hold on and mm -hmm. steering wheel would be nice but that can be later. Go for it. Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? Yeah. Is that not the coolest thing Although, you've ever seen? It's it's gonna burn the tires, dude. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We're in Ike's 64 Buick Skylark on the way to Lowe's. <clears throat> to buy some parts to make some throttle and brake linkage for the Rat Rod Wagon. Well, these are gonna be our little pedals and we're gonna put little uh, little uh, pads on the end for our feet to hit. But we need to shorten them a little bit more. And they're gonna be attached to that little bar down there. Yep. Little bar going across to switch the brake pedal from the left side going to the right side. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We should have just put the, uh, the brake from Go Power Sports on the other side of the axle. Well, we would have had to swap the uh, 
yeah. the sprocket <laughs> over to the... It, we could have done it. Yeah. How's it looking? I think it's looking pretty good. I really like how this fits there. That little nut fits in the washer. And we could have it like that. That'd be sweet. You like that? It'd look good, dude. It looks awesome. I like it. Well, I have a brake pedal and a gas pedal. <laughs> that looks freaking cool, dude. That's awesome. Good job, man. speed run is in order yes sir pinstriping next bud what pinstriping next oh yeah that would look awesome yes pinstriping and drift sleeves and a seat and a seat steering wheel steering wheel what else can we the list put never on ends. Headlights. charger smog pump supercharger nitrous turn signals Seat belts, airbags, OBD2, EFI. Whoa, 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 whoa. You've just gone too far there, buddy. Frame off restoration. <laughs> <laughs> we are nearing completion. It's freaking awesome, dude. Those pedals really worked out pretty good. Yeah. Top speed run. All right. Uh, I guess this is kind of your baby, so I'm sure you want to do the honors. I'll let you go. Oh, really? Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. So you can get the faster top speed? Absolutely. <laughs> Love the build. Normally they are, but uh, this one doesn't seem to be uh, governed. I don't know. It's destined for the rat ride wagon. That's right. How fast do you think it'll go? I'm, I'm between two numbers. I'm, hold on. I'm going to call it first. Yeah. Without you looking. Oh, without me looking? Yeah. Fine. I'm going to do it on the camera. All right. All right, buddy. I called it. All right. Now close your eyes. Oh, well, I, I don't have to. I mean, or do you want me to? Well, if I can't see, then you shouldn't be able to see. Okay. Only fair. All right. Jeez. All right, we're good. We good? Yep. All right.
What'd you What'd you guess? Things loud. <laughs> I know what you're gonna try and do. Uh huh. It's a terrible idea. What am I, what am I gonna try to you're do? You're gonna try to sit on not the axle to get your weight off of it to go faster. And it's dude, you're idea. gonna die. It's a good idea, thank you. You're gonna die. I wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> and dude, right. yeah, I could feel that heating up as I went down the road. Really? Dude, the magic box was getting hot. I took off and it was just <laughs> it's just like get it's like a little heater. It's like heated seat. Oh that's what buddy. it was. Heated seat. Alright, well I'm gonna go lose some ballast. Lose or, some ballast? Some top speed, yes. Are you gonna go? Yes, yes. I'll be right back. You took the camera and it was recording. Oh. Calm down, Holmes. You're going down, buddy. I'm going down? You're going down. I'm going down. If I can't beat you in the yard, I might as well beat you on the Quarter street. Mile. Oh, okay, I see. Still sour about that, huh? I uh, reached forward and I was adjusting the fuel mixture to get the optimum. I know speed. you were. <laughs> All right, what was your guess? What was yours? 23. <laughs> I knew it. What? Mine was 23. What? Yeah. <laughs> so we both win, but not really. Uh, right out of the gate. Why didn't we just go get this one? I don't know. Because if we hadn't, of that one would have been a piece of crap. Yeah. That's how these things work. Well, I need to put some air in the tires of my Miata, because I just put the RPF ones back on. I just cut off a couple of random bolts that were on the underside of this thing that were a little too long and were probably gathering dirt and stuff when we went through the grass. A couple of them were snapped off. Oh, really? Yeah, we've been <laughs> hitting stumps and they've just been snapping off, so I could have left them alone. Yeah, yeah. I It'll guess be fine. Time would have taken care of him. Yep. But you also cut off the uh, excess shaft on our magic box. Looks <clears throat> so much better. Yeah, it does. Yes. But this thing is really coming along. The pedals look sweet. Love the pedals. Gas pedal, brake pedal, 
and they work good. And the engine runs like a dream thanks to the E3 high performance spark plug. Adds half a horsepower. At least half a horsepower. Uh, I guess we don't know how fast it went, do we? Not yet. Not yet. I still say 23. So do I. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, we wanted to get the other engines running, but we didn't in this one. I mean, this one ran so well first try, like, why even mess with the other ones? <clears throat> now, we're not going to throw away the other ones. The other ones will be used On in one future, of our other builds, yeah. future builds. So, who knows? There might be another rat rod, rat rod wagon. wagon. <laughs> A 20 horsepower rat rod wagon with four or five horsepower brakes. <laughs> Don't need to get anyone's hopes up on that one. No. <laughs> anyway. Crazy talk. Uh, what's next? Pinstriping? I'm thinking some pinstriping. A seat, finally? A seat. Uh, steering wheel. Proper steering wheel. Yes. And, uh... She'll be almost done. What are we going to do next? I mean, once we get all that... She gonna be done. All right, that's a loud freaking bird. He's just. What are you all worked up about? Like he can understand you. <clears throat> no, you know what that bird's probably saying? Put the V twin on the rat rod wagon. If the V twin was on the front, we wouldn't have a problem with steering, would we? <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> yeah, this It'll thing doesn't seem to like to steer. Not uh, enough weight on the front. If if you work the gas <clears throat> and and work your weight, it's not a problem, but it's a lot of work. Yeah. And this is for entertainment purposes only. That's right. It's pretty much a show cart. So I have fun on it. Oh yeah. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check us out on Garage Amino at Cars and Cameras. That's one word. Thanks for watching. Let us know what else you think we need to do to this thing, and what else. What other big projects we could be starting right now, since we are kind of getting close to the end of this one? Let us know in the comments, on Facebook, on Instagram, wherever. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next one.